Here we have a Golf Mark V, um, which has recently had its ABS pump changed, and the garage are unable to code the vehicle, so customers getting this annoying sound with the ABS light and traction control light flashing and that continuous beep. Um, on the fault codes, we'll start a scan of it, I'll show you what it comes up with. This is using VCDS and it's just going through all the ECUs to interrogate them for the fault codes. Um, but we already know it's going to be in relation to coding, etc., and uh, basic settings or adaptations of the new module that's been installed. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll just show you the fault codes that are present. Um, there are going to be a few others on this vehicle, but uh, they can be rectified at a later date. What we're concentrating on is that annoying beeping noise and to sort out the flashing lights, etc. So here we have the fault code, so under the ABS and brakes, four faults, so no or incorrect basic setting or adaptation for the brake pressure sensor, the steering angle sensor and the lateral acceleration sensor and also a control module not coded. So we'll be uh, getting them coded in and hopefully that will get rid of that annoying light. So that ABS coding has been put in um, and as you can see when we switch on the vehicle, ABS lights are out, starting up, no lights whatsoever. So once the coding had been put in, um, the function test needed to be uh, completed um, and the steering angle sensor calibrated, etc. So that was completed, taken on a test drive and all the faults had been removed from the system.